Let me share with you what I share with every person I train. When you're riding in a vehicle with the customer and you want to help them paint a mental picture of ownership, assumption of ownership, you want to ask them questions that does not come off like you're focused on your results. You want to ask them questions that A, help them paint the mental picture, B, show that you're interested, and C, allows them to speak it out loud and in turn hear themselves. See, people learn multiple ways. Some people are visual. Some people are auditory. Other people are hands-on, okay? So we're leveraging all aspects of feeding information into our guests, right? We're showing them the actual vehicle. They're touching it and feeling it. And then we're going to ask questions to help them verbally spit it out and regurgitate it back into the supercomputer, which justifies their investment and helps them feel good about it. You ever heard of a thing called buyer's remorse? A lot of times that comes because the individual to help the customer did not do a good job in building the value of how this particular product or service will help you solve whatever problem or provide you with whatever solution you may be looking for. So when you ride with them, you spend all that time qualifying them. You've learned about their life, about their family members, about a lot of different things. And so a way, one question that you can ask, let's just say it's a family. And they told you, you know, if you're qualifying and hopefully you do a good job, especially if you listen uh, to, to my courses and been through my training, you are asking this. And so you're asking them, what type of things do they use the vehicle for? Do they take it on vacation? They may say, yes. Okay, cool. Boom. Jot that down or keep that in the mental roller day. So fast forward. Now we're on the demo drive. I'm sitting in the back seat. You're sitting in the back seat. They're in the, in the front seat, in the driver's seat, in the passenger seat. And you say, hey, let me ask y'all a question. What's the first vacation spot y'all going to take your new truck or your new car or your new SUV to? Now think about this. In order for them to answer what their first vacation spot will be, they have to, in a nanosecond, get a mental picture of them doing it. See, nothing comes out of our mouth that isn't first an image in our mind. So, hey, what's the first vacation spot y'all going to go as a family in your new vehicle? Or if they're a couple, let me ask you, what's the first date night y'all going to take in your new ride? If it's a single person or if it's a couple or if it's a family. Who's the first friend or family member y'all going to show your new truck or your new car or your new SUV? Now, think about those questions. Those questions have nothing to do with me. It's all about them. But asking, hey, can you see yourself owning that? Is this something you can see in your driveway? Well, that shows a direct connection to my benefit. Of course, I'm asking that because I want to know if they're going to buy from me. Even though the purpose of those questions was to paint the mental picture and do assumption of ownership, and they were effective at one point. Now we can have the same exact impact coming off as less inwardly focused, less salesy, and more outwardly focused and more customer focused, right? So, hey, you know, what's the first vacation y'all going to take in your new ride? Who's the first friend or family member you're going to show your new car to? What's the first date night you're going to take in it? Which one of the kids going you're going to take to the soccer games, to the football games first and show off their ride to their new friend? You know, whatever it is. But in order for them to answer, they have to paint that mental picture. So that's one. So when you're in the vehicle and you're doing that demo drive, as opposed to the uncomfortable silence or talking about things that are completely irrelevant, ask them questions that are relevant to the vehicle and to the situation, but don't come off as salesy and get them to speak what they're going to do. Because, yes, they're saying it out loud and you're hearing it, but guess who else is hearing it? They are. And understand something about the way our supercomputer works. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button because it really helps the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscription and make sure that you click the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I release new videos. And last but definitely not least, make sure that you check out the Selling for Success sales training portal. It has sales training courses, audios, videos, manuals, everything you need to catapult your sales results to a whole new level. So remember, check out sellingforsuccess.org, the sales training portal. I'm Brian Maxwell saying again, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you at the top. Your vibration of your voice, your vocal tone, your mind, your brain, trust what comes from that far more than anybody else on this planet because it's been with you your whole life. I can sit next to you and tell you you're great every hour on the hour for the next three years. And all it would take is for you to say to yourself that you're not. And that supercomputer will reject my programming and accept the master programming. It'll do a system override, okay? So when you're interacting with your customers, making sure it's about 
value building. So we're asking the relevant questions while we're in there to help them paint that mental picture. It's called assumption of ownership. And what we're utilizing by asking those questions is called a sales pattern interrupt. And what a pattern interrupt is, is where you take what is um, uh, typical, what is usual, and you deviate. See, the fact that you're asking hourly questions that are customer focused will make these people say, whoa, because they're so used to salespeople asking questions that are so obvious and have a direct connection to them. The customers don't want you asking any questions that's a direct connection to you. If you don't ask anything, it should be a direct connection to them, even though, and the intent of it is for you to still help them buy, which in turn will benefit you. But the best way to benefit yourself, if you have to look at it that way, is be as outwardly focused on them as you possibly can. So you go on the demo drive, you're asking these questions, they're speaking about it. This is where salespeople come back. They smelling that new car smell, they're loving it. The infotainment center, I don't care if it's a new or pre-owned. Even if it's pre-owned, it's new to them. And if it's new, it's new to everybody. So riding in it, you know, everything's all good. You're asking them questions, they're loving it. And then they pull back into the dealership and the sales rep, the sales rep, remember, it's okay for the customer to be focused on price. But sales reps wonder why are customers so focused on price and they miss out what they've been doing to themselves. When the sales rep says to a customer, all right, well, let's go, let's go in here and see if we can make the numbers work. If I had a needle, I would scratch it like, think about what just happened. You just built all of that value. They just experienced that new smell, all of that good stuff. So their emotions are on high. Because understand this. Does it feel like you're putting in the time at your dealership but not getting the results? Does it feel like you're digging yourself out of a hole every month? Automotive sales is a great career where you can have fun and make a lot of money. But why do so many fail? They fail because they were never taught how to sell. The internet has eliminated just lying to people. Today, successful selling requires skills that most salespeople have never been shown. Until now. If you're tired of stepping over dollars at your dealership to pick up dimes, I invite you to register for Brian Maxwell's webinar, How to Dominate at the Dealership. Brian Maxwell trains top producing automotive sales professionals nationwide and knows what it takes to dominate at your dealership. In the event, you will receive Closing Secrets of Six-Figure Earning Automotive Sales Professionals Fastest Way to Be a 20-Vehicle-A-Month Producer How to Earn $10,000 in 60 Days and much more. Register now and reserve your spot for this power-packed presentation.